Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm just really doing a cook with me. I honestly thought, I kind of wanted to chit chat, like do some girly chit chat and I also wanted to cook this food. So I thought why not do a cook with me chit chat kind of thing. Hopefully I've come up with like a clever, cute little name so I can put on the thumbnail, but it is what it is, whatever. I already went shopping. I stopped at the grocery store this morning and we got everything we need. Avocado, sourdough bread, a ton of mushrooms. We got the tuna, feta cheese, like just everything we need. I am really excited to cook this. I'm really hungry. Of course, I plan to keep track of the macros, have the calories on the screen. So if you're dieting like me, and you like the way any of this looks, you'll know the number so that way you can, you know, keep track of them and record. If you are recording, it's not necessary at all to be counting your calories. It's just what I'm doing right now for my weight loss journey. So yeah, but let's get to cooking. Mm. So on medium to high heat, we're gonna add olive oil and butter, then add the mushrooms. Cook it on medium for a while, move it around just to draw out the water and like steam the mushrooms. This is actually kind of smelling really good. <laughs> okay, so y'all know how I was like kind of worried about going to LA, like worried about regressing and it kind of messing up my progress because it happens a lot whenever I go back home. Um, I'm feeling way more confident now. Things have just been really good and feeling really easy. I'm not like struggling with a ton of cravings and I do eat out every once in a while and I'm, I don't know, I just feel very in control. So I'm a lot less worried. I feel a lot more confident and I'm also just really happy with the progress I'm seeing and that's the biggest motivator of all honestly so yeah i'm looking forward to headed back home i am trying to like think about what foods i want to get because i don't want to eat out crazy out there clearly i still don't want to gain weight <laughs> but yeah i'm trying to think i'm like in and out i don't know if it's worth it you know what's crazy though i kind of really want some louisiana fried chicken that chicken is just so good and i miss proper fried chicken every time i've had fried chicken here it's just not the same these mushrooms i guess they're looking pretty good they're getting really soft so yeah that's really really good like it's definitely progress i don't know how long i'm supposed to let these mushrooms like sweat i guess you know but whatever i got everything else ready we're gonna add some garlic to this, um, some more spices. I have thyme, I have black pepper, and then I have some berberet, <laughs> which isn't a part of the recipe, but I was like, you know what? I wanna add it, <laughs> add some color. And then I also have the cream. But yeah, oh my God, okay. So I had a comment on one of my videos about like, you know, I was going out getting ready for a date or something. I had a comment from someone asking if I ever tell the guys I meet or I'm dating, if I ever tell them about my YouTube channel or my fitness journey. And I have a story for you guys. So quick answer to that question, um, no. <laughs> I don't tell people until later. There has been a guy that I was seeing, I don't know, a couple months. We went on a lot of dates and we were hanging out for a bit. And so of course, like that's something I ended up sharing with him. But typically that's not something I lead with because I don't see a point to. Even when guys ask like, oh, do you have an Instagram? Let me follow your Instagram. That's like so big now, right? Especially with the dating apps, a lot of them link to Instagram. I just send them to my like personal Instagram, not, not my fitness page. Because what's, what's the point? Like, why would I send this to my fitness page? Like, it's the same thing when I meet people out in real life. Like when I make a new friend. I don't automatically send them to my fitness page. <laughs> like unless I think they have an interest in fitness or we're like really good friends and they know that like this is big and important for me. It's not something I direct people to automatically. Cause it's, for me it's, I mean, it's my journey. It's very personal. I try to just be as real and raw as possible. And the majority of my audience is female and I honestly prefer it that way. Like I'm not up here thirst trapping, <laughs> like, you know, so. It's not something I really point guys to. In fact, if it's super early and we're just dating and getting to know each other 
and if they find my Instagram, it's really embarrassing for me. And that's the story I need to tell y'all. It actually happened one time and it was just, it was, it was wild, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna add this cream. Although I don't even know how much to add. I don't know if this is the right cream. As long as I weigh it out, let's just add a little bit. Like very little bit, like see what that does. Maybe a little more. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks so good. <laughs> This looks so good. All right, so I randomly grabbed this bread. I don't even know if it's like a good one. I just knew I wanted sourdough bread, so yeah, this looks nice. This looks real nice, real nice. Okay, I have to try one of these mushrooms because that's it. Mm. Okay, so there was this one guy we matched on this dating app. This was months ago. We were talking, he seemed like a really nice guy. He was a lot of fun to talk to. I remember thinking he was so much fun. And then like, we were having a conversation off the app. I ended up giving him my number. We talked on the phone. We were talking over a couple of days. And uh, one time during one of our conversations, he was asking me about video editing because I'm a video editor and it says in my profile and stuff, right? And so I'm talking to him about video editing. And then he's like, so do you have your own YouTube channel? And I'm thinking like, oh, does he know something? So I was like, oh, you know, I mean, I do little things here and there. I'm, you know, don't really, not really big on social media. Like that was the way I wanted to skirt around it. And he was like, oh, I'm just asking because you know, if you're a video editor, it seems like it, it would be, an, you know, just a natural thing for you to do, you know, your own YouTube. And I was like, okay, you know, I kind of dropped it. And he was like, so you're not an influencer. And I was like, no, I wouldn't consider myself an influencer. I'm not super, super on super social media, you know, like not at all. And I'm thinking this guy must have found my YouTube channel. He Googled my name and he must have found my channel. And now he's like asking, but I'm trying to be like evasive. I know, you know, I have a ton of hobbies, but I'm not very big on social media. And he's asked me if I'm an influencer. I'm like, oh, definitely not. I would not consider myself an influencer. And I don't, but, <laughs> and then the conversation ends and I'm thinking, okay, this kind of weird. He might've found it. He might be trying to pry and see, but there's no guarantee. We keep talking. Hold on, I think my toast just popped up. So we keep talking and <laughs> like, Another week or so goes by and we're having our conversations and he's still a delight to talk to. I ask him how work goes or something, right? And he's like, oh, work was good. He does something in HR. I can't remember what it is, but it's like in human resources. And he was saying there was a new person who's like paperwork he had to go over. And so he's telling me, yeah, I had to go over this new hires paperwork and double check everything, you know, do background research and that kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, you know what was interesting? I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, when I was doing research on this candidate, I Googled his name and he has a YouTube channel. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, what do you think about that? And I was like, <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, he has to know, he keeps trying to bring this up. He has to know. But he's like, what do you think about, you know, what do you think about that? And I'm just like, there's nothing to think. He has a YouTube channel, okay. And he's like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cringy, don't you think? And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Is he? And I'm just like, I mean, I guess it can be. It just depends on his content. And he was like, <laughs> And he keeps talking about it and saying like, you know, there's nothing wrong with people who are on YouTube, but you could just tell that he's taking it seriously and he's trying to do something with it. It's just a little cringe. What do you say? And at this point, I'm just like, okay, I'm, this guy's beating around the bush. I know that you know. I know you know. You found my channel over a week ago and you keep dropping hints about it. Like, I know you know. And so then I just reply like, I know what you're doing. And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I know what's happening here and you're hilarious, but I'm so done with this conversation. And he's just like, wait, are you really leaving? What's going on? What are you talking about? He's acting like he really has no idea what's going on. And it's making me start to doubt myself, right? Cause I'm just like, he has to know everything he's saying, he has to know. But with me trying to be subtle about it and calling him out, 
and him denying it, it I honestly, the dude was gaslighting me, okay? It was the biggest, I'm like messaging my friends on the side, oh my God, this is what he said. Don't you guys think he knows? He keeps dropping these hints, duh, duh, duh. All my friends are like, he definitely knows. And so then I was like, you know what? I'ma just call a spade a spade. So then I say to him, okay, I know that you found my YouTube channel. And he's like, what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And I'm like, you keep saying these things. I I know what, you, what you're what you getting at. Like, you clearly found my YouTube channel. And he's like, no, I, I didn't know you had a YouTube. I didn't find your channel. And he plays this whole thing out acting like he didn't know. I ended that phone conversation and it was such an entertaining conversation. Like the does he know, doesn't he know, like going back and forth, that I was laughing and I actually found it to be funny. But I really ended the phone conversation thoroughly confused, like wait, does he not know? Did I really just tell him? Like do I, am I crazy? Do I look crazy to him? Like I was questioning everything. It was, it was a really funny moment, like <laughs> even during it, I found it very entertaining. At the end of the day, he never confirmed that he knew. Comment down below, let me know if you think he knew. I, I feel like he definitely did. We stopped talking though, because there was another guy I was talking to at the same time, who honestly I just preferred. And this guy, after the whole YouTube thing, I feel like he kind of backed off as well. Like, I feel like 100% he found the channel, he was playing games with me, and I also think he thought it was cringy, and so he was just kind of like, eh, you know? But yeah, so there's that story. It was very, very funny at the time. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Like, just host this. <sighs> breakfast is served, okay? We having toast for breakfast every day this week. <laughs> but yeah, that guy was freaking playing me. In all honesty, he's probably watching this video right now. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. These are, these are, they look so pretty, but they're kind of firm. Like a little too firm if you ask me, but it's okay. And then to update you guys, so before I went on my social media break when I made the video talking about dating and trying to step back into dating and stuff, I, I told you guys about this date I had gone on where like this guy was really, really nice, but it was like such a slow burn. Like there wasn't, there wasn't that initial chemistry, that initial connection. Um, and yeah, that's, yeah, just to update on that, like that's done. <laughs> I did see him for a while. I did, like, honestly, we went on a lot of dates. We hung out, like, he is a good friend. But it just never happened, like. It was a good experience, though, because I feel like there were certain things that he did for me. Like, he was just so thoughtful. He was, every time I saw him, he was, like, bringing me gifts. Like, he got me a Christmas gift. And, like, he was just a really thoughtful, really kind and considerate person. And so I feel like, it was just such a great experience dating him because I'm like, wow, I really like some qualities about him and I know I can like pick them out and take them going forward or hope to see replicated in other men that I date. But yeah, they're just, it, we were still just missing some basic like important chemistry things. <laughs> You're even past the chemistry. I just feel like we were just really different when it comes down to it. Like just like certain values and ideals and like, yeah, you know, like some really important stuff. So he was really cool and my time with him was really well spent. But just to update y'all, no, 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 it wasn't a match. The last toast is just gonna be the smashed avocado with the tuna on top.
Okay, so we are gonna try these. Mm 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 mm. Mm. That is so good. Man, that's so good. Mm, the spices definitely help. Mm. That's really nice too. The seasoning makes a big difference. The everything but the bagel seasoning really makes a difference in that. I think the pepper too. Okay, let me try a third one of this. I'm eating all three of these though today. Like, all three. Mm -hmm. They're all really, really good. I actually liked them in the order I ate them too. <laughs> with the mushroom being the best, this one being second, and then the egg with the avocado being third. The mushroom one just has so much flavor, like so much flavor, it's so good. And the spice is really good. This one, I love the lemon, the, the seasoning, the feta, like it has a lot of different layers of seasonings to it. And this is good because I mean, who doesn't like boiled eggs? Like it's all good. So all three of these honestly are great. I still have a bunch of mushrooms left, so I'm definitely gonna be making this toast throughout this week. I have tuna as well. We toasting it up. We are toasting it up. I keep thinking I got some food on my face. But anyway, those are all so good. In the description box, I'll make sure to have like the ingredients for each. They're really simple to make, as well as all the macro and calorie information if you want it. I'm about to eat this and enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy some of the chit chat stuff. And I got to answer that girl's question. Like your question just really made me think of that story because it was so funny at the time. Like I was like, this is this guy is pulling a mad one. Like it was, it was very entertaining. But yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna end this video here. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you try any of the toasts or if you make any type of toast on your own that has toppings that I need to be trying. Like definitely comment it down below in the doobly doo. I'm gonna go enjoy my toast. Then we hit in the gym a little later and I will catch you guys in the next video which is going to be a weekly vlog I think. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.